isang magandang magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, kasalukuyang kura paroko ng Our Lady of Sorrows, dyan po sa FB Harrison sa Pasay City, doing all for the gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng ating mga kasamahang mga pari sa Society of St. Paul, kasama na rin po ang mga brothers at mga seminarista ng Philippines at Macau, gayon din po sa ngalan po ng mga pari ng Arts Diocese of Manila at ng Vicariate uh, of Santa Clara de Montepalco sa Pasay. At sa ngalan din po ng TV Maria, ang atin pong mission partner, kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na makiisa, makimisa, ngayon po ang ikadalawamput dalawa, 22nd day of March, 2020, ikaapat na linggo ng Marso, ikaapat na linggo din po ng Kwaresma. At kung tawagin po natin ito ay Leitare Sunday. Okay? Leitare kung saan po nang galing ang laud, uh, ano, laudate. Ayan, no? Nang ibig po sabihin ay uh, pagpupuri. Ayan. Pinupuri natin ang Panginoon. We praise the Lord, no? Sapagkat uh, malapit na ang kwento ng kanyang pagliligtas. Okay? And uh, of course, during this Sunday, pwede pong gamitin ng mga pari at mga ministro ang kulay rosas na kasuotan bilang tanda ng kasiyahan sa gitna ng atin pong paghahanda. Okay, nais nice po nating batiin, ipanalangin ang ating mga kasambuhay, ang ating mga homebound na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po ang ating mga elderly na alam po natin ay uh, kailangan maging medyo cautious ngayon po no? sa gitna po ng ating health situation. Gayun din po ang mga cancer patients, mga caregivers, ang ating pong mga pulis at personel ng uh, kasundaluhan, mga doktor, mga emergency room workers, at yun pong ating mga seamen at sea women, no? And we would like to uh, greet yung pong ating mga mission partners diyan po sa Canada. Ang grupo po ni Brother Alex Fideris, okay? Si Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Willie, uh, uh, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, Doktora Jo Adorna Guzman, Alicia Adorna, at ang inyo pong mga pamilya. Gayun din po, dito naman po sa atin, ang Masigan Family, ang Chowa Family, Arrojado Family, Bilyarus family, ang Jacob family, ang pamilya po ng San Miguel, ni Irma at Delio dyan po sa Marikina, si Corazon Ochoa, Rosita Kauyan, si Alma Gonzales, ang ating pong makaibigan na sina Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, uh, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban, Leilani Palagio Himotea, at dito naman po sa Iloko Sur, sa Bigan at Bantay, ang pamilya po ni Domingo at Lourdes Corpus. And um, we would like also to acknowledge and uh, to pray para po sa atin pong mga love offerers. No? Si Maureen Lopez Moral, Ronald Santos Tabora, Maria Cleofe Anson, ang hindi po nagpakilala na cooperator natin na nagdeposito sa Metro Bank account, si Pilar Porparias Rosius, Jan Asielo, Dennis Leguadiba, Tita Anos, Lydia Felipe Pascual, Rosalinda Santa Maria, Jocelyn Romero Ebaristo, Gemma Candela, Lucelin Embajador, Florante Senisa, hindi po nagpakilala mula sa Dabao Corporate Center, si Aurora Luna Mirnia, Mirna Clavesilias. Hindi po nagpakilala na nagdeposito sa BPI, 
si Jerry Gerardo Felipe, si May Hope Sanchez Ondap at si Michaela Estalplacido. And uh, of course, we would like to acknowledge and also pray para po sa ating mga kaibigan sa pilgrimage, ang Spell Group at Orange Group. Ito po yung magkakaibigan, magkakaklase ng mga taga La Consolacion Kalookan. At gayon din po, ang grupo po ng Holy Land Pilgrims ng October 2018 na kasama po si na at uh, Doktora Cora Cabral, Geraldine, Grace, Marie Joyce, Atty. Juana, San Benaventura, Nino Molina, uh, gayon din po si Anton uh, uh, Santos at Juliet O'Reilly, si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok, uh, si Chrissy Highland, Rose Lisi, Rosebel D. at William D., ang tantwi ko na mag si Danas, Kathleen at si Tal, si Val Iris Rivero, uh, si Juliet Estola, Silvet at gayon din po si Grace Pulido Tan at Nonoy Tan at syempre po ang ating mga pari na sina Fathers Randy, belated happy birthday, si uh, Father Charlie, Father Joe Alves at gayon din po Uh, Diyan po sa Taiwan, si Father Joy. Yan. Uh, gayon din po, binabati natin ang ating mga naging kasama naman sa Workers of Christ noong 2019, ang pilgrimage group ni Jen Castillo at uh, ni Joey at uh, Didith Jacob. No? And then, November of 2019, ang pilgrimage group ng Journeys of Faith Si Gay, Lady Bird, Ramon, si Maricel Salapantan, Noel, Merz, at Trish Pineda. Yan, no? Si uh, uh, Father Divino Santos Rabang, si Nanang Marie, uh, si Mary Teresa Aboitis at si Mara, si Lita at Mario Aningalan, at uh, siyempre si na, ano, no? ang Clemente Copol. Yan, no? Uh, ang uh, iba't iba pong mga kasama natin ng October, November 2019 Okay? And um, of course, we would like also to pray Para po sa mga kaibigan natin dyan sa Gerochi Dental and Implant Center Fourth floor ng Montivar Building, Jupiter, Makati Si Dr. Rico Martin at uh, Doktora Axel de Gerucci at uh, si Doktora Asel Jade Tan. Okay. Ngayon po sa ikaapat na linggo ng Kwaresma, Leitare Sunday, ang Sunday ng pagpupuri sa Diyos na nagliligtas. Ang atin pong mga kwento ay nagpapakita sa atin sa Panginoon bilang Panginoon ng liwanag. Okay? Sa gitna ng mga pangyayari ng buhay ng tao, liwanag ang hatid ng krus ni Kristo. Kaya nga po sa Easter, yan ang ilalagay nating tanda ni Kristo. Yung Pascal Candle na sabi nila, ito daw po ang New Testament version ng Column of Fire na naging gabay ng Israel sa Old Testament sa kwento ng Passover. Oh, so, ang Diyos bilang Diyos ng liwanag. Sa unang pagbasa natin sa araw na ito, sa unang aklat ng Samuel, chapter 16, maririnig po natin ang pagtawag, paghirang, at pagpapahid ng langis ni Samuel sa bagong hari na si David. At uh, alam niyo po, ang ganda ng sabi doon ng Panginoon, Do not judge from appearance. The Lord sees what is in the heart. Ang liwanag ng Panginoon ay tumatagos hanggang sa puso. Puso ang tinitignan ng Panginoon. Ha? So, dapat kung ganon, 
Sabi po sa ating second reading, Ephesians chapter 5, 8 to 14, Live as children of the light, not of darkness. Dapat, hindi sapat yung tayo po'y humingi ng kapatawaran sa kasalanan. Dapat hingin natin na pagkatapos nun ay magpanibago ng liwanag ang Diyos sa ating buhay. No? And of course, ito pong message na ito ng Word of God would be confirmed specially sa atin pong Gospel, John 9, verse 1 to 41, ang pagpapagaling po ng Panginoon sa isang lalaki na isinilang na bulag. Okay? Inborn, bulag siya. And yet, sa gitna ng mga oposisyon ng mga pariseyo, binigyan ng Panginoon ng kakayahang muling makakita itong lalaking ito on the day of the Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, siguro sa ikalimang ling o ikaapat na linggong ito ng kwaresma, yan naman ang dapat nating tanungin sa ating pong patuloy na mga pagninilay. What are my limited visions and biases? Okay? At sa panong paraan, kailangan ko sa buhay ko ang liwanag ng Diyos. Ang liwanag na makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa isang kakaibang sigla, sa isang bagong pananaw, sapagkat ang Diyos ay Diyos ng kaliwanagan. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa oratorio ni Maria, reyna ng mga apostol. Dito po, sa compound ng Society of St. Paul sa Antonio Village, Makati. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. We are now on the fourth Sunday of our Lenten observance. We live out to the Lord all our prayers and intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Brothers and sisters, today is Litari Sunday. This is the popular name for the fourth Sunday of Lent. The name comes from the first word of the entrance antiphon of today's liturgy, Litari Jerusalem. Rejoice, Jerusalem. On this Sunday, we are encouraged to lay our eyes on the great solemnity of Easter, for which we have been preparing ourselves as a church during the season of Lent. Of Lent. In anticipation of the joy of Easter, Litari Sunday is meant to give us hope and encourage as we slowly progress towards the Paschal Feast. Let us now acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading for the, from the first book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from among his sons. As Jesse and his sons came to the sacrifice, Samuel looked at Eliab and thought, Surely, the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees does God see, because man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was Rudy, a youth, handsome to behold and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd, there, there is, is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he give me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord, the Lord is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless work of darkness. Rather, expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. And therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. He spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva and smeared the clay on his eyes and said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. So he went and washed and came back able to see. His neighbors and those who had seen him earlier as a beggar said, Isn't this the one who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is. But others said, No, he just looks like him. He said, I am. They brought the one who was once blind to the Pharisees. Now Jesus had made clay and opened his eyes on a Sabbath. So then the Pharisees asked him how he was able to see. He said to them, he put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and now I can see. So some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, because he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a sinful man do such signs? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind man again, What do you have to say about him, since he opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. They answered and said to him, You were born totally in sin, and are you trying to teach us? Then they threw him out. When Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, he found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered and said, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, I do believe, Lord. And he worshipped him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So tayo ngayon ay nasa fourth Sunday of Lent, Letary Sunday. Kaya kitang-kita yung uh, kulay ng uh, ginagamit ngayon, ng abito ng pari, kundi yung kulay pink or rose. Kung maalaala ninyo, nung nakaraang Advent season, meron na tayong tinatawag na Gaudete Sunday and Letary they are similar in meaning, rejoice or be glad. Pagpapaalaala sa atin na habang patuloy tayo sa ating apat na pong araw na paghahanda, pag-aayuno, pagdarasal, ating almsgiving, pagiging charitable para sa ating kapwa, lalong-lalo na sa mga nangailangan, ay binibigyan tayo ng parang glimpse of what lies ahead. That even if we, as we encounter difficulties in our exercise of the three pillars of Jewish piety, dahil tayo nga ay uh, kumbaga nagpapakahirap no, para sa ating sarili, at to renounce and denounce ourselves, food and all the other excesses in life, 
in order to center ourselves to Christ, then we should not despair because the best is yet to come. That the glory of the Easter season awaits us in the end. Pero bago ang lahat, nais ko na rin batiin yung ating lahat na mga OFWs, na mga takasubaybay, again, overseas faith witnesses. Kabilang na dyan yung aking mga kamag-anak na si Vicky at Rolly Cassion sa Vienna, Austria. Kasi ngayon pa lang daw sila nakakapanood ng Sambuhay TV Mass, kaya ipinakilala ko sa kanila. At sana naman ay uh, ibahagi nyo rin ito sa ating mga kababayan dyan in some parts of uh, Germany and Austria para mas lalo pang mapalaganap natin ang mabuting balita. The Gospel is actually the sixth in the seven signs in the Gospel of John. One thing particular about the Gospel of John, or John for that matter, is that he does not call miracles or yung mga kababalaghang ginawa ng Panginoon as miracles, but signs that would point to the reality of the Messiahship of Jesus. At dito natin ipinakita at nakikita kung saan ang taong bulag na ito ay siya pala ang lumalabas na nakakakita. At yung mga iskribat pariseyo, mga tagabatikos ng Panginoon, ay sila ang lumalabag na bulag. That Jesus is truly the light of the world. Father Richard Rohr, famous for his centering prayer, once said this, We do not see things as they are, we see things as we are. Kung ano daw yung ating hilig, kung ano yung ating mga biases, preconditions, yun ang gusto natin makita sa ating paligid. Oo nga naman, na practical lang. Bakit mo gustong makita ang mga pangit? Kaya nga, hanggat maaari, ay sa ating pagsiselfie, ay filter pa natin yan dahil ayaw natin ipakita yung pangit sa atin. Pero yun nga, ang dapat natin harapin, lalong-lalo na kaugnay sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon. Kung saan, yung bulag, physically, ay siya pang nakakita. At tayong mga nakakakita ay naging bulag sa katotohanan, bulag sa ating spiritual na buhay. And most likely, we are blind if we live in our own false self. False self. Yan ay all the more reinforced in our time today. Where in fact, we are most alienated from ourselves, we are stranger in our own house. Because most of us, are trying to be somebody which we are not. And that is most ex- exemplified with the word avatar. Alam yung ating profile, di ba? Pero yung avatar, yun yung, yun yung uh, isang image o picture kung saan po pwede natin palitan kung anong gusto natin. Kung gusto mo bang matangos ang ilong, gusto mo bang uh, pinkish yung iyong uh, uh, kutis, kung gusto mo bang uh, medyo square ng konti, pang modelo, yung inyong uh, yung, uh, uh, figura ng inyong mukha, pa pwedeng gawin yon O pati na, inyong katawan, na ikaw may katangkaran at uh, muscled. No? Yun yung avatar. It is a make-believe. And one thing that is now lost is our ability and capacity to see. We have lost the gift of seeing. In other words, in plain and simple terms, tayo na ang mga bulag. O di kaya patuloy na nag-bulag-bulagan. Or, practicing some form of selective seeing. Selective seeing. Kung ano lang yung gusto natin makita, yun lang ating titingnan. We do not want to confront our inner selves, our center. And true enough, we will never be able to see if we remain so cluttered and and ground dead. Sila Henry Nguyen, sila Father Richard Rohr, ay uh, eto, yung kanilang mga tema palagi. Finding your sacred center. Because we are basically circumference people, tripheries people. Kaya tayo nagbisibisihan para hindi natin makonfront ang ating sarili. Hindi tayo mapatigil, mapag-reflect uh, at sabihin, bakit nga ba ako ganito? O papaano ba? mabuhay ng maayos ayon sa turo ng Diyos. We want to keep ourselves busy. 
And that is what the devil wants. Magbisibisihan tayo para ma-distract tayo. We will be disoriented. And so there is no greater blindness than self-decision coming from ourselves. We live in our own false self. Selective seeing. Alaala ko nung ako ay uh, nagmamadali uh, galing sa may shrine of Jesus, way, truth, and light, sa may moa. At uh, meron akong uh, misa pagkatapos ng kasal. 30 minutes lamang ang pagitan. So ang aking misa sa may moa, uh, kasal sa may moa, ang misa ay sa may bandang Makati. So kailangan, ratsada, nagmamadali, hataw agad. Pagdaan ko sa Makabagal Avenue, ay uh, pagkatapos nung, uh, nung traffic light. Well, tagat. No? Naka 120 to 130 agad. No? Akala mo, nagkakarera. Ayun. Dandun sa may bandang unahan, before another traffic light, lima, limang MMDA na mga, mga officers ang humarang sa akin. Talagang siguro nakita nila, talagang napakabilis ko na. Lima na silang humarang. Baka kasi kung isa lang, ay masagasaan ko pa. So, lima ang humara, nakagal, tinuro ako. Samantan doon sa may gilin, nakakita, nakakita ko, may nakaganon sa aking radar. At, uh, yun nga, pinara ako, at sabi, eh, sir, overspeeding po kayo. Hindi niyo ba nakita ang laki-laki ng sign? Ang dami nga namin nilagay, 60 lang. 60 lang dapat ang iyong takbo sa kalsadang ito. Pero napakabilis niyo po, halos 120 to 130. Tila yata, ikaw yung nagmamadali. Oo nga, eh, hindi nyo ba nakita yung sign? Eh, nakita ko po. In fact, tatlo nga yun, malalaki yung sign. Ang problema, hindi ko kayo nakita. No? Nandun kayo sa mga bandang unahan. No? Kulang na lang sabihin ko, nagtatago kayo sa'yo kasi kayo. No? Gusto ko pang bueltahan. Pero yun nga, hindi na ako um, nakikipag-away pa o nakipag-debate. Eh. Sometimes we practice that. Pili tayong nagbulag-bulagan. But let us be like this man who was blind because towards the end of our gospel reading today para sa akin napakaganda nito. Itong encounter na ito na nagdulot sa kanya at magudyok sa kanya magsabi ng ganito, I do believe Lord and he worship him. So he does not only believe in the Lord but from then on he worship him. Worship as we know worship is a word only reserved for God. So in other words, from then on, his life is always centered on God, centered on Christ because he had seen the revelation in Christ. Meron pa nga nagsabi, I am hidden in God and I have to find myself in that relationship. Kailangan nating mahanap o di kaya maridiscover yung gift of seeing. And that can only happen through contemplation, through solitude, stillness, the presence that would lead us to our own center. At ano bang pinakasentro ng ating buhay? Walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. Kaya for me, ang pinakamabigat na kasalanan ay yung patuloy tayo nagbulag-bulagan bagamat tayo nakakita, patuloy tayo nagbingi-bingian bagamat tayo nakakarinig, patuloy tayo naging manhid, tamimi, o di kaya hindi umiimik sa kabila namang katawali ang atin nakikita sa paligid. That is, for me, the worst kind of sin. Kaya ang ating panalangin, sana pagalingin tayo ng Panginoon sa ating pagkabulag at makita natin siya bilang ating Mesiyas ang manunubos na mula ngayon sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay, siya lang ang maghahari. We will now stand and with firm conviction profess our faith. I believe in one God.
personal and committed faith so that through our good works, His name may be glorified. And our responses, listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. That the church may humbly acknowledge her own weaknesses, so that strengthened by Christ, she may be faithful to her mission to be the light of the world, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. That our spiritual and political leaders may see their own limitations and sin, so that they may prove to be effective and compassionate guides to others, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. That the blind and the handicapped may be effectively assisted by both governmental and non-governmental agencies to lead meaningful lives, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. That the eyes of those blinded by honor, wealth, and sense of superiority may be opened by the Lord, and that they may humbly recognize their reliance on the Lord and their fellow human beings, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. That we may renew our commitment to justice and peace, and raise our voices in behalf of the poor and the ground trodden, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. And let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. And we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Father Jesus, our Lord, open the eyes of the blind, open our eyes to recognize His presence, especially in the lives of our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May dear friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully reveal them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the mystery of the Incarnation, He has led the human race that walk in darkness into the regions of the faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin, to the waters of regeneration, to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for this case we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and bring from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the Archbishop of Manila, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Behold, Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer during communion. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I'm about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right, because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may be always ponder, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. God made you special. God made you special. For there's no other who's just like you. Special you are. And may the blessing of the Lord be upon you. The blessing of the Father and the Son, and the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. Our celebration is ended. Let us go glorifying God in our lives. Thanks be to God. Again, ito pong mga linggo bago po magsibada Santa ay atin po munang sinususpend ang ating pag-aaral sa katikismo ng Laudato Si. At uh, sabi nga nila, in solidarity sa nangyayari ngayon sa ating mundo, nais po nating manalangin sa mahal na ina, ang Our Lady of Sorrows, ang patron ng parokya ng mga Paulino, Diyan po sa Pasay, sa isang personal na novena para po sa kaligtasan at pag-aadya ng inang Maria Mater Dolorosa. Pagbati sa iyo, Maria, mapagmahal na ina ng aming manunubos na si Jesus. Buong pagmamahal at katapatan ikaw ay tumayo sa ilalim ng kanyang krus. Inialay mo ang iyong sarili kasama ng pag-aalay ni Jesus ng kanyang sarili. At dahil diyan, ikaw ay maaari naming tawagin bilang mediatrix ng mga biyaya na buhat kay Jesus na siyang kaisa-isang tagapamagitan at pinagmumulan ng lahat ng kabutihan at biyaya. Bago ang kanyang nagliligtas na kamatayan sa krus, Ibinigay ka ni Jesus upang maging ina namin. Mater Dolorosa, Stabat Mater, samahan at damayan mo kami sa oras na ito ng kamatayan at labis na pag-aalala dahil sa mabilis na paglaganap ng novel coronavirus 2019 sa buong mundo. Samahan mo po at gabayan ang mga gumagawa ng panuntunan, 
mga doktor, mga mananaliksik, at bigyan sila ng karunungan. Samahan mo po ang mga may sakit, ang mga apektado ng virus na ito. Ikaw nawa ang kanilang kanlungan at kagalingan. Samahan mo po ang lahat ng kapatid naming namatay at sila'y akayin sa kaharian ng Ama. Nawa matularan namin ang iyong puso at pagnilayan namin ang mga pangyayaring ito na hinayaan ng Diyos mula sa kanyang dakilang katarungan at karunungan. Sa ganito ay mapagtantunawa namin ang ibig sabihin ng mga pangyayaring ito kaugnay sa aming pagbabalik loob, pagpapanibago ng pananampalataya at kaligtasan. Tulad ng iyong halimbawa sa kasalan sa kana, palagi nawa kaming matulungin sa ibang nangangailangan sa gitna ng aming pag-aasikaso sa pangangailangan namin at ng aming mga mahal sa buhay. Ina ng awa, alang-alang, sa merito ng krus ng iyong anak na si Jesus, hingin mo sa makapangyarihang ama ang dagli ang pagtatapos ng salot at peste ngayon din. Ipanalangin mo po sa Ama na iligtas at ipag niya ang lahat ng kanyang nilikha mula sa kasamaan at biglang kamatayan, mula sa kasamaan ng kawalan ng pakikialam, pagiging makasarili, pagdududa, takot, kawalan ng pag-asa, Pamahiin, matapos ang lahat ng aming katalinuhan at mga magandang nakamit, kami po ay mga abang makasalanan. Papuri sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, tatlong persona na nagkakaisa sa kanilang pagkadiyos. Pagbati sa kalinis-linisan at puno ng hapis na puso ni Maria, Mater Dolorosa, kasama ng manunubos, mediatrix ng mga biyaya, aming ina at reyna. Amen. Sa ngalan po ng lahat ng bumubuo ng atin pong Sam Sambuhay TV Mass at ng atin pong uh, St. Paul Audiovisuals, ngayon naman po inaanyayahan namin kayong maging Kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Unang-una sa pamagitan po ng inyong mga love offerings na pwede nyo pong ibigay sa pamagitan ng iba't ibang mga bank accounts na nasa screen po natin. Pangalawa, pwede kayong maging Pauline Kasambuhay Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng inyong pagpapalaganap nitong ating apostolado nasa screen po natin ang atin pong iba't ibang uh, channel ng cable sa Pilipinas, gayon din po ang Facebook at ang ating uh, YouTube account. And you can also be a Pauline Cooperator kasambuhay sa pamagitan po ng inyong pagtetext, ng inyong comments at mass intentions. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña, Cleric Ed Dantes, at Reverend Kib Di Matatak, iniiwan po namin ang pagpapala ng Diyos.